our beast just got up whistle blowing when I worked at that health food place in Burton on Trent if you've been watching my videos you'll remember I have spoke at length about this previously there was one particular character who was rogue and he was doing things he got authority status there the job but he was doing things that he shouldn't have been doing and he'd been there that long he was part of the wallpaper kind of thing and I'd just come in and spotted this and everybody else was scared of him you, you could sense this I was frightened of the bloke and I wasn't so I thought I've got to do something about this because this is just wrong and not only is it costing me the, the, the things he's giving away with him doing he's checking it out on other people as well and that, that ain't acceptable in this day and age so I blew the whistle on him and I knew then I knew right that was the end of that job because on the surface ostensibly there was nothing that could do to me for doing the right thing and highlighting this but I was aware that in a roundabout fashion that bloody well would and they did they put me in another part of the place in a job where it was no place for the soul of a man and it was obvious I wouldn't have stuck that job yeah you know so it was kind of constructive dismissal I did the right thing I blew the whistle on him he was investigated a lot of other people come forward he got a record he'd done it before and they got their excuse to have him but at the same time I did myself no favours and that's just how it works it's very rare that you'll blow the whistle and um, and be liked for it but nevertheless it's the right thing to do now we all know because I posted a meme the other day about this and Tim from Fair Play now also spoke about it it's about the chairman and CEO of a large organisation that begins with P and amongst other things this organisation concerns itself with the manufacture and distribution of this and he's come out of a tweet saying that although he's had four of these he's still got the <coughs> okay now I'm not saying this is fact this is a question I'm asking a question you'll forget that I've said this by the time you reach the end of the video but I'm not stating anything anything is fact I'm asking what you think what's your opinion on this what do you think is going on a couple of years ago we had the TikTok videos okay people in certain professions jumping hopping skipping around like them bloody Britney Spears and on 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 the face of it a lot of people says well I'm dealing with a, a lot of stress every day with the the overwhelming death so this is how they're dealing with it might, that may well be true but I wondered at the time and I, I know other people thought exactly the same I wondered, right, they're under non-disclosure agreements. They can't talk about the job and what's going on. They've been told, talk about this, you're out. You're in trouble. So maybe that was, maybe, it's a question. I'm asking a question. Maybe that was their way of saying, look, it's obvious that these places where we work and the impromptu field ones that they've constructed specially to deal with this overwhelming death and not chock a block and pack full of the dying wheezing and maybe that was their way of saying this without actually coming out blowing the whistle and saying it so that's the first thing now with, it, with this I mean it is absurd I mean you you got the argument that if, he, if he's had four of them and he's still caught it then it could have been worse, the symptoms could have been worse. But I mean, really, really, that's just silly. A bloke of his, it is. And there's plenty of published, peer reviewed um, uh, uh, studies now saying that if you've got natural resistance to it's better than this bloody lot anyway. So my question is by coming out with such an absurd and 
insane tweets to say that I've had four of them, right, and I've still caught it, is that his way of blowing the whistle to get people to start asking questions, but done in such a way that his paymasters can't turn around and say you blew the whistle. Because on the face of it, all he's done, he says, I've had four, I've caught it, I'm glad I had four, because it could have been worse. Knowing how ridiculous that sounds. It's my question. Do you think that's that's what it was? Because make no mistake, a bloke in a position like that, he would have been told, you, you, tow the line, otherwise you're up to your neck in it, mate. That's just how life is. I'm leaving it there. So, what's your opinions on it? God bless.